is up, my little hellhounds. Today we are reviewing a game called Obey Me that comes to us from developer Error 404 Game Studios, South America, and publisher Blowfish Studios. Obey Me is an action-adventure co-op brawler, a button masher of sorts, where you are playing as Vanessa Held, who has a companion who is a hellhound named Monty, which if you are playing co-op, your second player can play as the hellhound. This game opens up by setting the scene. Heaven and hell are at odds, as usual. You are playing as a soul huntress who is collecting souls, fighting demons, and mutants and nasty looking enemies alike. There are so many veins and pustules in this game, it's a little nasty. The story is told through mostly cutscenes as well as some dialogue through phone calls between you and your boss. Pretty cliche fight between heaven and hell, demons and lesser demons and greater demons and Satan's thrown in there. Your fighting is mostly composed of mashing the A button and various combinations. You can hold the A button for stronger attacks and tap the A button to make combos. You also have the ability to teleport and there are some projectiles and other options with the B button. However, for the most part, you're mashing that A. Your dog, Monty, also has a different set of skills. If you're playing as co-op as we did, your dog plays a little bit differently. It has different abilities, as well as a separate upgrade chain from Vanessa's. Upgrades for both Monty and Vanessa are achieved by collecting soul crystals throughout the levels. Vanessa's various attacks can be upgraded, and there's different upgrades for each of her weapons. Yes, you do collect more weapons as you progress. My least favorite one by far is the veiny looking hammer. You can even swap between weapons mid combo in this game, which is kind of a unique feature. You'll also discover other types of crystals as you progress. There's a crystal that restores your health. There are crystals that restore a blue bar below your health that allows you to fuse with your hellhound which, in addition to being really disturbing, does help you regain health and makes your attacks more powerful. You can also find extra collectibles like a codex that will go over some more in-depth plot. I didn't really want to read too, too much while I was playing. I kind of just wanted to keep progressing. The world isn't super open, but you do occasionally have to kind of go the wrong way, if you will, to find things like the collectibles or the crystals that will increase your health bar. I must say I do enjoy a good button masher, but this button masher felt a little bit sluggish. Vanessa's attacks and her response time can be quite slow, in my humble opinion. As for Monty the dog, I did, once again, play this co-op, so I'm not sure how he plays if I was playing this as a single player game. However, he doesn't do a whole lot of damage and it doesn't feel like a true two player co-op experience because of that. As for Vanessa, my major qualm with the way she plays is that she has that kind of nifty teleport warp feature, but she doesn't have a true dodge, which I found to be super frustrating, particularly during boss battles. Obemi's graphics look a little bit out of date to me. They don't look like the most modern graphics I've scene, especially considering I was playing on Steam. They look like they would have been better suited for maybe an older generation of console gaming. Backgrounds don't have a whole lot of detail and buildings and objects fade in and out of view. As for the game's overall aesthetic as well as the character models, they're quite generic. They look like your kind of typical hellish, dark, post-apocalyptic settings with destroyed buildings and things kind of in general disarray with nasty looking funguses and pus everywhere. Overall, it was effective at what it was going for. It just doesn't really do anything to stand out to me. Now, I have to highlight the voice acting here because it is, it is something to behold. I told you guys to scram! No chance. Yeah, get out of the way before you get hurt. 
If that's how it's gonna be, then I'm gonna go clubbing. Clubbing? This ain't time for dancing. Ugh, he means he'll hit us with the bat. The acting in this game is so bad, it's good. I laughed, but not for the reasons that they intended me to laugh, I think. With some more mature language, I think they tried to be a bit edgy with the dialogue, and it kind of just feels forced. The soundtrack does a very good job of staying in the background. You don't really hear a whole lot of it, but the menu music is quite good, I must say. The rest of it is really just industrial beats and eerie sounds that you'll hear periodically. Obey Me is available on Xbox One, PS4, and Steam. It is going to be coming out on Switch soon. On the platforms where it is currently available, it is going for $19.99. I had some fun with Obey Me. I had some laughs, though maybe not where they wanted me to. And overall, I would recommend this game if it were on sale, maybe not at the full price, but I think that if you're looking for some kind of straightforward, button-mashing, demon-snatching, soul-destroying fun, Obey Me might be worth a shot. For more information on Obey Me or any of the other games we played, check us out at MediaMoogle.net, where we also have our podcasts like Gamer Joe Radio Show and I Dream of Indie. And subscribe here on YouTube for more reviews, previews, and everything in between. Thanks for watching.